Hi guys, this music was made by Cakewalk by Band Lab, a DAW doll digital audio workstation that was recommended by some Dave dude. The, that's what he goes by in the forums and all the, uh, the guitar YouTube shows we all watch. And I think I was watching Philip Knight yesterday, and I just mentioned if he tried TH3. We all know it's Steve from Boston. He he swears to it. You know, he's a fantastic player. It really sounds good. And, uh, you know, I tried the demo. Frank C recommended it, too. He has it. And and I definitely like it. Um, but I don't know if I'm ready to spend that kind of money, even though it's, I think I had a like a 24-hour day window to get it for, like 130 bucks. But they always they will have that sale. Usually it's like, two, I don't know, 279 or something. I don't know. But they'll have it again. Anyway, um, but uh, some Dave do recommended. Uh, it's called Cakewalk by Band Labs, and it used to be Gibson Brands, and it's free. So some Dave do was recommended, and he his came with a TH three or a portion thereof, and. I'm not so sure it's using it or not. If it's using my plugins, or I can't really tell. Like I said, I'm all new to this, so I was surprised I got this far with it without looking at too many tutorials. Um, I put, I just, I played two tracks. I played the, you know, little old times rhythm track, uh, r rhythm. It's like what was what was it, uh, Unchained Melody or something like that. And it's it's not exactly right, but it's the tune I had in my head. That's what I did on my last video. Anyway, I I played a little a little lead with it. So I did a rhythm and a lead. So I have two tracks. So you'll see that. And then at the end, I forgot to uh I didn't end it quite right. So I I doubled this note and put it placed it where it was. So I hit it twice and it it kind of blended in and ended well. And I, it sounds pretty good. I the only the only effect I put in it was some reverb and I don't know if it's part of TH3 or not. Maybe uh, if some Dave, uh, some Dave dude, let me see, let me make sure I, oops, um, he can verify if it's, if it's actually, I uh, am actually using um, PH3 that's in it, because there is a, a ton of guitar effects in here, I mean a ton. But anyway, like I said, I only, I only use some reverb, and it sounds really good, so I have a, uh, I have two channels, and then the one I needed to add the one note, I have a third channel in there. So, but like I said, it's th it's free. Just follow the directions. It's a it's a bit, it's a lot a good bit to install, and uh, if you're interested. But this is definitely better recording music than if I were to use like I usually do use Audacity. Audacity is fine for audio, uh, you know, for voice, but it's not it's not meant for music. Um, uh, it's and this looks really easy to use uh, or a lot easier to use. Now, I, now you can't. I'm sure you're not going to compare it with Pro Tools, uh, but I, I I'm more interested in some simpl simplicity than you know. You know, I, I'm not a professional. You know, and I just play around at home. So, but I'll put the information in the show notes if any any uh, if any anybody's interested in and. Uh, um, because there's so many fantastic musicians on here, and they're just recording from from their uh, cell phones. And some now some of those cell phones sound good, but some of the, some of them don't. And they're just missing out. So it would sound so much better if they did like you can get a little more professional type recording uh, if you had an audio interface. Um, now, if you and if you had some good mics, you know you, know, you mic up your amps. It's, that will sound good, but if you're using a, like a webcam mic and and a uh, cell phone mic, you're sh you're shortchanging yourself, especially these, some of these guys that are really fantastic. But uh, see, I'm using a I have a focus right I'm right now. It's what I was going into with this. Now, normally I use my uh, Boss Cantana, which is in itself, and when you have it connected to your computer, it's a U USB audio interface. But um, but this has a this has a real good. A real good reverb sound and I have to admit I'm not so sure I can get that kind of sound out of my uh, 
Boss Katana. So, anyway, if anybody is interested, just you know, follow the uh, the links below. So, all right, guys, I, I want to wish everyone uh, a happy new year. I hope you all had a great Christmas. I know I did. So, so happy new year and a real great 2019. See you later, guys.